Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you what's inside Papercraft Society box number 17. I'm very behind with my unboxings and I know all the subscribers already have this and have had it for a few weeks now. But for anybody that is maybe new to my channel or was thinking about getting it but they were unsure, this one is still available from the date that I'm making this video. So hopefully it still is by the time this goes out. Again, anybody that's new, the Papercraft Society is a monthly subscription box. You can subscribe month to month, quarterly, six monthly, or for the whole year. And it's always a different designer each month, so there's always something new to try. As always, whatever's on the box is an indication of the colour palette and the patterns and kind of the theme that you will have. So you can see you've got that lovely silver and then these flowers on this one. Now this one is done by Olga Direct. Torenko, I believe she is Paper Discovery. And here you have this lovely box is a real treat for all tea lovers out there. Now I'm a huge fan of tea and I actually was asked to do some of the inspiration for this. So although I have already played with some of this stuff before, I haven't seen the finished kind of result and I haven't seen the other inspirations and also what Olga actually, you know, had in her mind when she created this box. So as always, you get your envelope and you also get your tissue. I haven't even opened this, so um, I only got some bits to do the inspiration. We don't always get sent everything when we are asked to participate. You will have your three pockets. So this one says, use the cabinet die alone or pair it with other paper discovery furniture dies. So if you're, again, if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, I have quite a few of the paper discovery furniture dies and I've created some lovely pop-up cards and um, just different scenes and themes and so on using those dies. Then you have here use the small die cuts to stock up your own cabinet and then here it says surround yourself with little things that you love. So I'm going to start with the dies. Okay so you can see here the main die is this lovely ornate cabinet that you can make and these are separate dies on the side and then this will cut the outline and the shelves there. You also get this die here which is the drawers and there's even the detail for the handles. I know this because this was one of the dies I did actually use. Then you have all these little additions so you've got your plant there, you've got your teapot, these are plates and then your teapot, your milk jug and a teacup. This will die cut books. That's a little tea caddy. You've got a decorative corner there. And then that will cut the stack of teacups. That's a saucer. There's a tiny spoon. These are legs, and I didn't know that until I saw Olga do this on a craft along. Um, I didn't yet actually use those. And then those will die cut the small little biscuits and cakes that you have in the stamp set. So that's the dies. And I'll keep that out just so we can then see what it coordinates with. So this is the stamp set and it is packed. I mean, she's literally, there's hardly any space on that stamp set, so which is great for us. So you have here, there's that teapot, the jug and the kind of sugar bowl there. And that's the die that will cut all of that. You've got your never too old for a tea party. There's always time for tea and cake. You can see this die at the top here. That will cut this cluster here and there's a wafer there that looks like a, a custard cream a jammy dodger you've got some kind of uh, wafer one there as well got little cupcakes then you've got a tall teapot there or cafetiere i believe this one here there's the flower die and then you've got dies that will cut some of these other ones you're just fussy cut um you've got new home your terrific home sweet home welcome but first tea and then there's the books with the die that will cut that out. These are your edges to make your plates. So I think that one there, yeah, these two here die cut these. I didn't use these. They will die cut and then you can stamp that in any colour you want. So if you like the blue and white china, then you could stamp that in blue and you'll have that effect. I think that's really nice. These smallest details, they are small, but they really do make a difference. You can decorate your teapot with all these bits here really really nice you've got a frame and another stack of books and then that flourish there as well lots and lots on that stamp set then you also get a embossing folder now I did use this and you'll see you've got your large area there for you to be able to have a sentiment and then you've got this lovely detail around the sides there Ooh. and then you've also got your pattern papers so here you get two of each 
So you've got that pink, which is the pattern on the front of the box. This is a white core. Then you've got this print here, which is like a wallpaper. This lovely leaf effect here. I've not seen that one. I wasn't sent that one. Or was I? Again, it was a while ago. No, I don't think I was. I don't remember that at all. In fact, I don't think, did I? No, I must have got some of the papers. And then there's this one here, which is gorgeous. That's kind of that plate effect there with those patterns. So some really, really pretty papers. So that's everything in the envelopes. Let's have a look in the tissue. And I always very carefully try to peel the sticker off and then that way I can save the tissue. So we've got three ink pads. So we've got a dark navy, a nice bright sky blue, and then a grey. And these are hybrid inks, so you can use them with water, with alcohol markers, and you get some really nice effects. You get this square of little flat pack pearls, and they're like a silver, grey, it's almost like a gunmetal kind of finish. You get this thread here with like a silver fleck running through it. And you also get an information card. You get one of these in every single kit. So this one is Happiness is Crafting and a cup of tea. Definitely, I've always got a cup of tea on the go. So this one is Challenge Yourself. So here you have, if you're ever in need of, card, of some card making inspiration, then use card sketches. These are basically pre-designed layouts to inspire your creativity. No matter what the occasion, make your own sketch challenge, sketch challenge and the ideas will flow thick and fast. Here are some of your favorites to get you started. So I just hold that up there and basically these are just templates for you to then take and, and use on your card design. So it's showing you there's like a mat here and there's a circle mat and then a rectangle. There's your card base and then there's some string wrapped around with another circle there. These are little embellishments. Really nice. I think sometimes, you know, it is. It's, you can just, that's why I like to have these. I've got them all on this and there's lots of information on them and I have learnt a thing or two so they are good to read over. So I'll keep that one there, I'll add that in a moment. Then you get your coordinating cardstock, so this will match with your pattern paper. And again, this is white core and you'll get two pieces. So you've got that lovely pink, that lovely green, that blue, and like a navy and then that lighter blue there. So eight really nice sheets of cardstock there and it's about a two it's about a 250 it's a bit thicker than a 220 240 i would say so um should ask actually what weight the cardstock is it'd be quite handy you could definitely make 3d projects with it and you could use it as your card blank as well because if any in fact if you like to make smaller cards you know you can just fold that in half and you've got nice sizes there as well so then you get your booklet so in here is around 15 inspirational projects on how to use the kit this is Olga on the front here so I would just give you a little flick through so you always get an introdu introduction from the designer contents what's in the box the inspiration behind it but just to give you an idea on what that cabinet looks like you can see here there's just lots of books and then you've got the teacups and so on and she shows you there how to cut and paper piece it together that one there's lovely. I think that's using one of Olga's circle dies and then she's used the pattern paper and she's used the little embellishments in there as well. Yeah, so I imagine she's used one of her dies from her collection for that one. It's more of a focus on the paper, I think. There's one of the cabinet again. And these ones here have been designed by Helen. So you can see how the teacup and all the little biscuits look with the, uh, your terrific there. And then there's the embossing folder. And then where's my ones? Because this is the first time I'm seeing it. This is, I've not seen it in print. So I've done this one here. So I've done a new home card. I really like doing that one. I made it quite 3D with all the pieces here in the drawer. You can see the little silver handles. And I've done a step-by-step -step there showing you exactly how to do that. And then I've done this one here, with the, I put a real tea bag in the middle of the embossing folder and because of that cardstock is a white core, I scratched the top with a light sanding block and it revealed all of that lovely pattern from the embossing folder. So although that looks like pattern paper, that's not, that's just the embossing folder. And just looking at what I did, no I haven't, I've only used that pattern paper. I don't remember seeing the rest, so I don't think I did get some of them all. Um, but yeah, so I've made myself a little tea bag label there and then I've used the twine and then it says life is like a cup of tea it's all about how you make it and I am quite particular about how I like my tea <laughs> and then I've done this simple one here saying welcome and I've just again 
I kept with the same colour palette throughout, just on the blue, green and light greys. I think it worked really well and um, I do like that one a lot. I think that was cool. I enjoyed making that card. So that just gives you an idea of what you can do with this. But if you're a big fan of Paper Discovery and Olga's dies, then you've probably already got a lot of those furniture ones, like she said, and you'll be able to easily coordinate this with those. As always, I'll pop the link in the description box to the Papercraft Society so you can check out your delivery options, prices, all that kind of thing. And also look around for any discount codes because on Craft World they sometimes have offers and there might be something actually on Craft Stash as well. But until next time, take care and I'll be back again soon. Bye!